Um, for this next set of questions, I want to talk about how you've seen COVID-19 affect your family members and uh, your friends and you know, people who are important to you, because I know you have family from, you know, different parts, like uh, from Northern Mexico, uh, who had a chance, and you had a chance to visit them uh, during the pandemic. Uh, so, you know, how'd you compare the rest to COVID-19 in this area to what you've seen in Texas, and specifically Hidalgo County and San Juan. So let's talk about your trip, um, you know, to visit family. Uh, did you travel by plane or car? We traveled by car. And what was memorable about crossing the Mexico, uh, U.S. Mexico border during the pandemic? Uh, during the pandemic, I think it was memorable because of how different things were. At first, when I went, it was around October last year. Uh, so around like Reynosa and, and those parts of Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, COVID wasn't taken seriously. And there were some people not wearing masks and everything was just very different from how I was here in the U.S. And it was just scary to see uh, how uh -huh. some people weren't taking it. And seriously. have you, you've visited Mexico during different parts of the year, right? Yes. Uh, would you say that it's changed over time? Yes, uh, for sure. Now uh, I have seen how strict they've gotten with wearing masks. Uh, where, uh, where my family is from, where we go and visit uh, in Linares, Nuevo Leon, uh, you can get charged uh, a fine if you're not wearing a mask of, oh. I think, $10 each time you they catch you not wearing a mask. Okay, thank you. And um, did you, when you arrived back home from visiting, did you feel the need to self-quarantine? Yes. And how was it handled? Yes, it, uh, it, it was handled... Uh, my brother, like my my brother works at HEV and my mom works at a at a surgeon's mm -hmm. uh, place, and my dad it has his own job. He's a carpenter, so all of us just had to get the days off we needed because of the of the trip oh, yes. back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. And what did you notice about uh, Linares, Nuevo León, uh, in terms of, you know, mask wearing uh, rent restaurants, like if they were open or not? Uh, a lot of the places were closed, most of them. They have a main plaza and, and uh, a lot of people were not allowed to, everyone wasn't allowed to go at, well, at first it was open the first time I went, but the second time I went around uh, November, a month in, uh, it was everything was closed and nothing was like available to enter and stuff. They had and, a maximum capacity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about the social awareness or like the responsibility for reducing the spread of the virus? I I think they were handling it very responsibly compared to uh, Hidalgo County. Oh, okay. Thank I, you. I would see more people with masks over there and uh, no one was out. It was just, if they had to, everyone was stayed home. And it was very nice seeing how mm -hmm. serious it was being taken. 